All right, guys, I haven't made a video in a while, so I'm just leaving the gym. I got my new job. Um, what was I going to tell you? Um, oh, yeah, we're going to talk about bases on the moon. Okay, so I remember watching back when I was into aliens, uh, a NASA whistleblower saying, oh, yeah, like I went in this guy's room at NASA, and there were pictures of, you know, bases on the moon. And uh, I even thought at the time, let me put this down here, I even thought at the time that it was bullshit because... The thing is, is I don't know, like, when I worked at the prison, I had to sign a non-disclosure agreement that I could go, you know, you could go to jail for up to three to four years or five years if you used any or said anything um, without the prison's permission and blah, 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 blah. And so the NASA thing is like, you know, you could go to jail for fucking 20 years. It's federal, you know? So... What I'm starting to figure out is, like, people like Bob Lazar and these other clowns are, um, they want you to follow the, um, the soap opera of aliens. They want you to pretend, they want you to think that there's fucking, uh, black holes. They want you to think that, um, you know, that you're in the Goldilocks zone. They want you to think that... They went to the moon. They want you to think that there's aliens. They want to show you pictures where they blurred out from the ISS. Oh, they, they cut off the feed because there were there were aliens. There's nothing. I know, and it sucks because I got like fucking I got fucking alien ink, and I wanted there to be aliens, but there isn't any. You know, and because the Earth is an enclosed system. Just like it says in the Bible, and just like Bill Nye said, you can't leave the earth, so nothing can come into the earth. So when you have people like Bob Lazar on Joe Rogan, and you have people like George Knapp, and you just have people in general starting to push the alien bullshit, you start to see there's a reason why, because they're getting ready to do something up with them, you know? So I just tell people, I was thinking about, like, okay, so the one tape is... Hey, we landed on the moon, okay? We're here, and they're parked on the crater across from us. And, dude, that made the fucking hair on the back of my uh, neck stand up. Like, wow, that's fucking badass. They really did see aliens, you know? But then I started to realize that, like, Roswell was a complete sham because uh, Russia put the first satellite in space, so Roswell had to be the, guess what? We got alien technology, and it makes me so mad because I want there to be aliens. Do you know what I mean? Like the guy from Blink-182, dude, it's all a fucking, it's all like Bigfoot. Bases on the moon, Secure Team 10, um, third, what was that other place? Um, third plant, something, I forget. But it always comes down to, show me fucking, show me the shit. If people were getting fucking abducted by aliens, where, you know, like with all the home surveillance shit, you know, so the only thing they can be, and I've said this before, is demons, you know, and because there's biblical proof of UFOs. So Satan can use everything that he's been using So, Satan can use everything that he's been using, and he will, and they're just priming you for the alien hoax to usher in the New World Order. Ronald Reagan talked about, hey, what if there was some big bunch of, you know, cons what if there was a force from outer space that made us all unite together? The Vatican is getting ready. I'm telling you guys, I know it sounds crazy, but they are going to use aliens, okay? Joe Rogan was talking about it with Alex Jones. They're going to use aliens. Okay? Aliens are going to fucking... Aliens? Get Here's my prediction. I'm being 100% I'm being honest with you. I really think that they're going to do something with aliens during a fucking, like, either, like, a World Series or, like, a Super Bowl. Like, they're going to they're gonna have the hologram. It's going to look real. Like, if you remember the Phoenix Lights, I think that was a test. Because think about this. No fighter jets from NORAD or anything like that were in the air when that um, Phoenix Lights happened. So uh, it's all, you know, 
I live near Area 51. I lived in Las Vegas. I've seen things that look like they're from other planets. They're not. You know, and if they were, they were demon operated, okay? Like God says, only the righteous, the select group, are going to be privy to the full seventh, eighth, um, I forget the word, eight step creation model where people are that are that are really pure in heart are going to see the bullshit and that's what I feel like is happening you know because I started researching this shit a long time ago anyways feel free to leave your comments um, I'll just be honest with you if you're going to be a douchebag I'm just going to block you because you're not it's just I don't know I try to argue with you and make it funny and you end up crying and I don't want to I don't know if you're a kid and I don't know if you're like a sissy or something I don't know if you can even say that, but I just don't want to pick on people that I don't know who you are. And you could, I don't know, like you could kill yourself or something. And I don't want to be responsible for that. So just play with your sister's dolls, you know, like a, a good little girl. And just don't watch it if this triggers you, okay? All right, peace.